everybody seems to want to know, will the new Tormach 440 cut steel? Let's find out. Let's change things up. We're going to cut first, and then afterward, we'll take a look at the CAD cam, talk about feeds and speeds and how she did. Here we go. You tell me. Uh, I sure would say yes, cut steel just fine. We'll take it out of the vise at the end. I actually have a little surprise. But before we tackle that surprise, let's take a quick look at CAD, CAM, and feeds and speeds we used here. We used Fusion 360. We made this part really quickly. In fact, just to show, we'll do a new design. Sketch this face. Hit R for rectangle. Dimensioned as 1.25, tab 1, actually it was 1.25, 1 there. Q to press pull, negative 0.625, and then a circle on this face of 0.9, and one inside of it, that was 0.65. Hit Q again, and click this face, this face, negative 0.2, <laughs> there's our part. We did a 3D adaptive, and the beauty there is, is even though we don't really need 3D features, it means we don't have to select any of the geometry. We're using a four flute, quarter inch end mill, 4,500 RPMs, 17 inches a minute. It's about a thou per tooth feed rate, and per G Wizard, about 0.4 horsepower of a cut. No coolant, which you saw me with the airline. That's the biggest thing I gotta fix. We're gonna pick up a coolant system here this week and 0.1 inch width of cut, 
8.2 inch depth of cut. We're leaving 10 thou. We're ramping in. You notice handle that ramp no problem at all. We leave that 10 thou because we come in and do a 2D contour, just a cleanup pass, same feeds and speeds. And then you saw we did a chamfer just to break that edge, have it look nice. Pretty simple, folks, right? Now, let's go take a look at the surprise. Not really a surprise, but just for fun. <laughs> Camera's rolling, folks. That was my Friday afternoon fun project. Tormach 440 cutting 4140. Look at this part, folks. Look at that engraving with the diamond. Uh, it's not a drag knife. I call it a drag knife. It's just a diamond tool. You just turn the spindle off in the G-code and uh, use cam. It's freaking awesome. Look at that finish, folks. I am super excited. More to come. I wouldn't call this definitive. Uh, I'm not sure we're at the pushing its limit. The one thing that's different about the 440 spindle is you can do things where you'll hear it. It sounds like it's bogging down or changing RPMs. I haven't understood that or gotten to the bottom of it, Ness. I don't think it's necessarily a problem, uh, especially remember the, the price point and aim of this machine. But... That was a, a cut I never, ever would have taken. Hell, I wouldn't have taken that cut in my 1100 when I first got it because I didn't know what I was doing. But uh, in my old tag or bench top, no. And not with that surface finish. Holy smokes. All right, folks, have a good weekend. I will see you later.